Let's go to Randolph High School for this week one season opener between Pope John and Randolph. No Brown for Pope John gets things started off to a great start for the Lions with this nice 24-yard run to make it first and goal, Pope John on the Randolph too. On the very next play for Pope John, it's junior running back Nick Esposito for Pope John with the two-yard touchdown run to get Pope John on the board and make it 7-0 Lions early in the first. Randolph would punch it in here on this delayed handoff to Anthony Santos. He would take it 21 yards for the touchdown, and the Rams and the Lions are tied at seven midway through the first. Randolph will get the ball back and taking it up the middle for 15 yards is Jason Cohen to make it first and 10 on Pope John 35. And Randolph would take the lead here as Jason Cohen would barrel his way into the end zone to make it 14-7 Randolph early in the second. Then after a failed fake punt and great field position for Randolph, they would add to their one score lead here as Jason Cohen would cross the goal line to make it 21-7 Randolph early in the second. The Lions will keep their next drive alive here as Sonny Abramson completes this strike on the run to Deshaun Chancellor as he tiptoes the sidelines to make it first down Pope John on the Randolph 14. And Pope John will cap the drive here as Nick Esposito bounces it to the outside and crosses the goal line for four yards out to cut the Randolph lead to 21-13 after a failed PAT. Randolph on the next possession is going to try and answer the Pope John score, but a fumble here on the handoff is recovered by the junior linebacker, Deshaun Guidry of Pope John, and the Lions are set up first and 10 on the Randolph 15 yard line. A few plays later, junior running back Nick Esposito of Pope John fights his way into the end zone from four yards out to make it 21 19 Randolph after Pope John fails on the two point conversion. We go to the third quarter now and Randolph gets things off to a fast start here after a 31 yard run by Carl Zarrow and it takes the ball all the way down to the Pope John 27. Two plays later it's Jason Cohen of Randolph crossing the goal line here and increasing their lead to 28 to 19 over Pope John early in the third. Pope John to get the ball back and it's first and goal from the Randolph four yard line and it's senior running back Noah Brown getting in on the scoring action here as he dives in from four yards out to make it 28-27 Randolph with 4.30 left in the third. Then Pope John would retake the lead here as Noah Brown takes it the final 15 yards for his second touchdown of the game to make it 34-28 Pope John after a two-point conversion early in the fourth quarter. Pope John will look to salt it away here after a three and out by Randolph and it's Noah Brown showing off his raw speed here as he stiff arms his way down the sideline for this 45 yard run to put the ball down at the Randolph 19 yard line. What a run. And Pope John to put the final nail in the coffin here as who else but Noah Brown scores his third touchdown of the game from 19 yards out as Pope John goes on to win this one by the final score of 43 to 28 on opening day. Well, let's head down to the field for post game reaction. They put the ball in Noah's hands and I think that was the, the difference of the game. You know, he's a very good running back and very hard to bring down, as if you noticed. Uh, it, I think that turned the tide of the game. And I talk about your offense. You guys were able to keep pace with them in the first half. Uh, you guys ran an option offense. You guys, a lot of delayed handoffs, a lot of quarterback keepers. You guys had much success with that in the first 24 minutes. And then in the second half, everything just uh, seemed to go the other way. Well, you know, we came out and, and scored on the, on the opening drive, and we were, we were up. It's just that... Uh, you know, the two turnovers and the turnovers resulted into scores and that really hurt you when you turn that ball over and they score. What was the game plan coming in? I mean, obviously Noah Brown was it, but they had a sophomore quarterback at Sonny Abramson. Certainly got a lot bigger than last year. Uh, talk about uh, what the game plan was and obviously you guys uh, didn't get the win, but overall how do you felt you guys executed the plan? Well, you know, we, we executed the plan. We had everything pretty figured out except to stop no yeah. running the ball up the gut. Uh, other than that, you know, we felt we did pretty good against the pass, uh, but it was the run that really hurt us. And naturally, when you turn the ball over to a good football team, it usually results into points, and then you're scrambling because you're down. And uh, what are you guys going to take away from this game? Obviously, you guys contain a very good overall Pope John team. Uh, you just got beat by one player, Noah Brown, but a guy, you're not going to see that guy every week that's going to Ohio State, four-star recruit. Uh, what do you guys take away from this going into week two and the rest of the season? Well, I, I thought the coaching staff did a great job in, in, in the execution of the game plan. I thought we did pretty good on that, and we'll continue working hard. But it, 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 they know they can score, and they know they can play defense. It's just that they have to get it together and, uh, and, and work a little harder, that's all.